And so that raises the question, really. Okay. Where, I think it's coming. Here? Where it's, would we go from Battle for Azeroth? You know, Tell us, Ian. Right now, the Tell us. I, I can't think of any unaccounted for loose ends or anyone who might be lurking in the shadows, thirsting for revenge. I don't know. Can you? Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Where are you, Bolvar? It's Ice Crown. Okay. Ice Crown. Yep. Suffering. Is that Sylvanas? Yeah, it is. It is Sylvanas. Oh, boy. It's Bolvar. Bolvar is Lich King. Looks pretty cool. Okay. That's cool. Did she die? Hopefully. Oh. Now she's a banshee. No, she's just chaining him up. Oh god. Come on, Bulvar. Put up, a, put up a little more of a fight. You are unfit to wear oh wait, what? Crown. No way. No, I actually did not expect that. She's gonna put it on. What? This world is a prison. True. Now something's gonna stop her before she does it. Maybe? No. She's putting it she's putting on the helm of domination. No, she's gonna break it. Okay. I also did not expect that. So that's how the Shadowlands comes into play. That is the Shadowlands up there, I assume. So location-wise, it's in Northrend. That's what you're telling us. World of Warcraft, Shadowlands, yep. We knew that. We knew the name. I didn't think she was going to break the helm. This is an ancient and mysterious realm that predates the titans themselves. Whoa. Interesting. It is the source of the power of the scourge and so much more. Let's take a look at this wondrous world that we are set to explore. Okay. The overview. Darkest of terrors. So nice. never be set free. Who's that? Who's that? And how the collar? I don't know. Okay, new zone, Revendreth. Revendreth. New zone, Arden Wield. Okay. Maldraxxus. Bastion, so it's four zones. Choose a covenant. Choose a covenant. Oh, you get to pick one. Okay. New dungeons and raids, of course. So four new zones, you get to pick one. Ascend the Tower of the Damned. Whatever that means. Who is that, though? Is that Anhald the Co No, that's Anhald the Caller. Leader Valkyr. Those were all of Sylvanus' Valkyrs that have died. 
Yeah. Okay. We'll see. It's just a little glimpse of this incredible world. What is up guys, it's Cal, and in this video we will be talking about the next WoW expansion, World of Warcraft Shadowlands. Now this has been leaked uh, some time ago, and it is a reality. You just saw my first uh, my first kind of reaction to the, the intro cinematic there with, with Sylvanas and Bolvar. Uh, I have some thoughts about that. I will talk about that in a minute, but also the, the features trailer, which really didn't tell us a whole lot like it was it was very uh like minimal as far as feature trailers usually go uh like for example it didn't say the max level in it which led many to believe that there will be a level squish um which is the case i will i will talk about that in a minute as well uh, as far as the intro cinematic uh i don't know i mean the the fight scene between uh bolvar and sylvanas was definitely cool I think uh, Bolvar should have been able to put up more of a fight, and I thought it was a bit um, odd how Sylvanas was just able to break the Helm of Domination in half just so easily, but it is what it is. And then as far as the features trailer goes, it uh, showed us some of the new zones, uh, new covenants, which no one knew what the heck that even meant when it was first uh, talked about there, but the more uh, what's next in-depth panel talked about what those covenants are and I will talk about them here. So let's get right to it, right to the expansion and everything it has to offer. So I mentioned the intro cinematic, Sylvanas rips off the Lich King's uh, helmet, Bulver Four Dragon, she rips the helmet off, breaks it in half, and that unleashes the Shadowlands. And uh, one of the biggest, uh, before I, sorry, before I get into more of the features, one of the biggest uh, mysteries of the features trailer is this dude right here. I kept uh, referring to him as Anhild the Caller, because if you don't know who Anhild the Caller is, well, you can watch my uh, Sylvanas lore video, but uh, that was like the the like leader Valkyr. Once Sylvanas killed herself for the, well, once Sylvanas killed herself in between Wrath of Lich King and Cataclysm, Anhild the Caller took her place in the void and let the Valkyr like ally themselves with Sylvanas. That's like a too long didn't read version of it. But it's like, it's the, uh, not low of death, that's one zombie, but it's like, uh, this this predates the Titans. So Ian Hasekosta said that, so it's not exactly a Titan, but it's just uh, like the aspect of death or something. Or it might be uh, uh, Tyrannus Menethil, as a novel has kind of alluded to. But yeah, so that's kind of the intro setup to it. Uh, first thing, let's get out of the way, which is, uh, well, might be my least favorite thing, Maybe it will play out good, but uh, is the level squish that's happening. So when Shadowlands goes live, all max level characters will go down to level 50. Uh, and level 60 will be the new level cap. Now I told myself once before that uh, I've been playing WoW for uh, 13 years now. I started playing in 2006. And uh, maybe I was being over dramatic about it, but I said that if they were to make a level squish, I might consider quitting. Because uh, I do not want a level squish at all. I just want to be level 130. Just let me be level 130. Uh, then I told myself, you know what? If they make a level squish, that's all right. As long as they give us our old talent, our old talents back, the old talent trees, then I'll be okay with it. Well, they're not doing that either. Um, there will be seven talent rows, so it's unchanged. Uh, level 15, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So yeah. There's that. Uh, and now on alts, you can level like 1 to 50 in a single expansion. This is also the part I don't like so much, but you know, it is what it is. I guess since it's on alts, it's not a big deal, but uh, this is to speed up the leveling process so you will get to the end game content quicker. So the example that was given is that you can level all the way to 50 in Mists of Pandaria, if you choose. Uh, to be more specific though, uh, there will be a new 1 to 10 level experience that will be developed and then from 10 to 50 you can level through an entire expansion and then 50 to 60 is of course uh shadowlands so i guess i'll see how that plays out not not too not too excited about that feature but we will see anyways on to shadowland stuff so there will be five new zones there's bastion maldraxxus ardenwild and Ravendreth, and, uh, and then the maw which is the fifth one and then there will be a new central city called orabos so that's like the uh, capital city. It's in the center. You'll there, there's a map on the screen now, uh, so you can see kind of how they all align. That, that might not be what they all look like, generally speaking, once the expansion comes out. But 
that's what we're provided with so far. So covenants, one of the things of the features trailer, which is, it's probably the biggest feature of the expansion. This is how they described it as, biggest feature of the expansion. Um, and what they are is that there will be four covenants to choose from that are part of the four, uh, four of the five new zones. So all of them except the Maw. So you pick your covenant at max level. There's the Kyrian, Necrolords, Night's Fae, and Venthyr. Uh, hopefully I pronounced this right, and they're in that order that I uh, said them with. So, for example, uh, the Kyrian is with Bastion, Necrolords is Maldraxxus, Night's Fae is Ardenwild, and then Venthyr is with the uh, Raven Dreth. Now, just to skim over the zones specifically, we don't know a whole lot about them, but Bastion seems to be more of like a Valkyr zone. It says, ordered and purposeful, called to service, souls here shed past burdens and seek virtue. So that's cool. There's also some pictures of what it looks like. Maldraxxus is more of like a um, necrotic area. So heart of the Shadowlands, military might, uh, survival of the fittest, not strictly evil. So things here aren't exactly evil. They don't exactly want to kill you. That's for the Maw. I'll talk about the Maw later, but that's what uh, Maldraxxus is. And then there are some pictures for Maldraxxus and then Ardenweald more of like a fey area. Well, the covenant here is the night fey. Enchanted and mystical forest. Uh, Emerald dreams, dark mirror, place of rest and rebirth. Because the Shadowlands is like the, the opposite of the Emerald dream. Emerald dream is of the living. Shadowlands is of the death. And then some pictures of this. Um, also, there's some very drust like architecture here. Um, so like from just far. And then Re uh, Revendreth which covenant here is Venthyr, a land of gothic spires and dark secrets, flawed and prideful souls atoning for sins. So that's a thing. Now, when you pick your specific covenant, which will be at max level, you develop soul binds with this covenant, which award your character with specific traits and bonuses. So this is actually this expansion's replacement for the artifact power system, but there's no AP grind I want to repeat that. You did not mishear me. There's no AP grind in this expansion. So that's probably going to make a lot of people excited. Uh, Covenants act as end game campaign for the expansion. So like BFA had two campaigns, the Alliance and Horde campaign. Shadowlands has four. So on your character, you can only pick one Covenant, one campaign to play through at max level. Um, and then alts, you can of course pick any of them. I'll talk about alts in a minute here and how covenants work with them. Now your covenant gives you abilities specific to your class. Like for example, this is the example that they gave. Warriors get a Spear of Bastion if they pick Kyrian, which is a dot that tethers enemy to a location and it generates rage and it's on a one minute cooldown. Uh, and then there's another ability with the Kyrian called Unburden. It's a two minute cooldown, which increases your movement speed by 300% for four seconds and it slows your movement, uh, or slows your falling speed, sorry, and greatly reduces enemy detection. And uh, with the Covenants, there will be these Covenant-specific cloaks. Now, these are not legendaries. I will get to legendaries later on. But you can customize your cloaks to give you things like wings, halos, uh, um, and more. I don't know if the customization is exactly cosmetic-specific or if those wings and halos give you different stats and whatnot. Not too sure on that. Uh, now, as far as the Maw goes, this place has no Covenant. It is the Jailer's Domain. You can go in, but you can't come out except us for whatever reason i don't i don't know they say that we have some special tie to azeroth so we can go into the mob but we we can come out i don't like how they do things like that where they like try to build something up as super epic like oh this this place is super deadly you can go in but no one's coming out except us as the player we can go out so there's that uh the shadowlands represents death as i mentioned before so we will see souls who have passed from the world of the living to the world of death. Uther, Kael'thas Sunstrider, Draka, who's Thrall's mother, and Cenarius were named specifically. So Kael'thas pursues vengeance on an enemy from his past while confined to Revendreth for the crimes he committed in life. Adventurers will encounter Uther and Bastion, who is struggling against dark forces that seek to transform him into a symbol of retribution. Uh, Draka, who is Thrall's mother, will be in Maldraxxus. There's not much more known about that situation. And Cenarius will be in Ardenwild. So not much more known about that as well. Uh, the pre-patch event for Shadowlands will be a Scourge invasion on Azeroth. So it's like the Wrath of the Lich King pre-patch event. 
it's Scourge Invasion 2.0, which will end up leading us to Ice Crown. Uh, let's see, Bolvar is not dead. They want to be very specific on that. Bolvar is not dead. In the cinematic, he was just defeated. He's not dead. He plays a big role in this expansion, which I was, I've was i been really excited to see how that plays out. Because if you played the Alliance uh, campaign in Battle for Azeroth, you know, we meet Kalia Fordragon, who was Bolvar's daughter. She has no idea what happened to Bolvar. So um, we need to take her to the Ice Crown to see what happened to her dad and show, him, show her that her dad's completely charred and was tortured by Arthas. So that's gonna be fun. Uh, now, contrary to Legion and BFA leveling experiences, this is actually really interesting, and I think I like this, um, but Shadowlands has a linear leveling experience. So we start in Bastion, then Maldraxxus, then Ardenweald, then finally uh, Revendreth. So it is linear. Unlike BFA and Legion, where you get to pick anyone. Now, at max level, that's when we pick our Covenant, so we get their powers permanently and work towards that Covenant's campaign. Now, alts get to pick where they level first uh, and can immediately pick their Covenant to pursue. So that's that's really cool. So they level with those abilities instead of waiting till max level. So once again, that is for your alts. Your alts get to pick where they level first and they get to pick their Covenant at level 50. Uh, and then the Maw is a max level zone. So there's lots of stuff to kill you here. And with the Maw, they really played into the fantasy aspect of it. So there's there's no innkeepers in the Maw and there's no random NPCs that can aid you in any way. So I'd imagine there'd probably be like almost no like vendors there or just like random vendors that can give you drinks and give you food and whatnot. None of that there because it is the Maw. Um, the next feature, which they've, they've described as the second biggest feature of the expansion behind the Covenants, is Torghast Tower of the Damned. Uh, it's at the center of the Maw. Now, it's an ever-changing dungeon that can be done solo or with four other players. And you earn per permanent rewards and upgrades from it. You absorb anime. Um, not anime. You do not absorb anime. Well, maybe you, you can absorb anime if you, if you try hard enough. You absorb anima, however which will make your powers stronger. So I, I assume that's uh, those are your covenant powers. Absorbing the anima makes those stronger. Uh, anima choices that they gave, so you get to pick choices. They gave examples for shaman. So you can pick uh, to increase your crits and healing by 10%. You can make your flame shock last forever or your fire elemental can last forever, but you can't cast any frost spells. Uh, legendaries will be returning in this expansion. So 8.3 isn't out yet for BFA, but we do know that there's of course gonna be a new Legendary Cloak in 8.3. We we heard nothing about Legendaries at all from the beginning of BFA until until now for BFA. But anyways, Legendaries will be returning in uh, Shadowlands. And there are items you get from uh, Torghast will allow you to craft your Legendary. So there are multiple Legendaries you can craft and they've learned from the Legion Legendary system, which uh, for me is one of the top three worst things that have ever been in this game is Legion Legendaries and how they were distributed. The Legion Legendaries were cool, they were awesome, but just how you got them was really dumb, in my opinion. So in uh, Shadowlands, you get to craft your Legendary, you get to craft which one you get. It's not like a completely random, um, like a random chance of getting one. Uh, there will be eight new dungeons at launch. So there will be four level up dungeons. There's the Necrotic Wake, Plague Fall, Mists of Turn Scythe, and Halls of Atonement. And there's one of these in each of the four main zones. And then there will be four max level dungeons. There's Spire, uh, Aspires of Ascension, Theater of Pain, The Other Side, and Sanguine Depths. And they've mentioned that The Other Side is a dungeon that has Bon Somdi in it. So yeah, and those of course have all the difficulties, normal, heroic, mythic, mythic plus. And then there will be a new raid at launch. It's called Castle Nathria, uh, which is a 10 boss raid and it is set in Revendreth, which is the, of, of course, the last um, the last uh, area that we go to to level. And now something else that I'm really excited about is that there will be lots of old abilities that will be coming back. They did not name any specifically, but since there will be a level squish happening, you will get a new ability just about every level or two. Um, so yeah, crafting professions. I think this is gonna get a lot, a lot of people happy as well. If you wanna craft a piece of gear with, let's say crit, and haste specifically. You can do that if you have a crit and haste gem to put towards the materials to craft it. So no more like random, uh, oh, I'm gonna craft this. Oh, I might get like mastery and versatility sort of thing. Now you can pick. So it's like they're, they're bringing reforging back in a way, sort of, except I think this is probably better than reforging. 
that you get to now pick what uh, secondary stats you get. There will be a revamped weekly loot chest from your Mythic Pluses. So instead of a giant pool of items that it can pull from, you'll have five or six options that you can choose from. So it's, it's less of an RNG aspect to it. And then finally, um, there's more character customization. So trolls get back tattoos and more skin colors. Dwarves can become wild hammer dwarves with customizations and more. Undead can hide their bones, which to be honest, looks kind of odd to me. They look like a bunch of emo kids. Like uh, the chick on the bottom right probably has a MySpace account. The, the dude in the top middle looks like he's from the Misfits. And um, the, uh, the chick on the bottom left looks like that she listens to My Chemical Romance, so. There's that. And humans get more skin colors, eyes, hair, etc, etc. Um, oh yeah, and finally, everyone can be Death Knights. Pandaren, all the allied races, everyone can be Death Knights. This uh, kind of plays into the lore is that Bolvar wants more Death Knights to go into the Shadowlands because uh, Bolvar has an eye in uh, both both realms, Azeroth and the Shadow uh, Shadowlands. He knows how it works. He wants to recruit more Death Knights to go in there. Um, for whatever reasons. So that is everything we know about Shadowlands as of right now. This was the first day of BlizzCon. Tomorrow they're going to do a more deep dive into everything specifically. So um, if there's, there's more information worth making a video on there, I will do that. But yeah, so I like to know what you guys think in the comments below. If you are at all excited about this, what feature is your favorite? Um, I'm glad that they're taking away a lot of the RNG type of stuff. Like, uh, I'm I'm actually really curious as to how this, uh, the Torga uh, Torghast Tower of the Damned is going to play out. It's apparently, uh, it seems to be a lot like Diablo Rifts. It keeps going up in level, keeps getting harder, you get rewards each time you uh, finish it and whatnot. Um, I, I kind of hope it plays as the, like, Mage Tower scenario, you know, back in Legion. Because I actually really liked the Mage Tower scenario, because it was really difficult. Um, but yeah, I hope we get something super difficult like that. And uh, this thing will be required to get to your legendaries, which I think makes sense. But anyways, guys, that's the entire video of World Warcraft Shadowlands, what we know about it so far. If you like this video, you can feel free to leave a like on it. You can sub to the channel for more videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next, uh, the next video.